Okay, hold Go on. I got one here. Ready? Tell me if you know it. I need that name this tune. You don't know how you met me. You don't know why you can't turn around and say. You'll you know the chorus. It's perfect for today. Like a fish in the sea. Follow me. Follow the ticket home. Teresa knows it. Yeah, Teresa. <laughs> okay, she's on the ball. I am not. <laughs> Yeah, you like that one? I thought that was appropriate. Follow me for discovery call sessions. <laughs> Come on, guys. Work with me. I'm trying. I'm hustling. I'm riding the bike. I'm hustling. You guys got to appreciate the fact that I actually searched for a song that worked. <laughs> So clearly, maybe we should do on Friday when we do the free for all Friday, we should do a name that tune. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's do that. And then we'll give out a prize. Yeah? Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a music trivia, name that tune on Friday with our Q&A. So tell all your friends and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so today I'm going to try to stay on track today. Stacy's going to pull the hook if I talk too long because we're supposed to only be here for max 30 minutes, but <laughs> I've never made it yet. <laughs> So anyway, so let's uh, let's get going. So we're talking about discovery sessions and everyone kind of knows what they are, right? Basically, they're those sessions that our coaches and mentors and service people provide for free. And it's not any different than when somebody gives you a quote. Same kind of thing, right? Somebody comes in, wants to do land, you want them landscaping, they give you a quote, they ask you what you need, they give you a quote. The difference is then they kind of leave and they never follow up, right? And then you're like, well, I'll just go with the guy that uh, followed up because he followed up. So kind of the same real, the thought pattern behind it. So discovery, when people say I don't do discovery sessions, I don't, I don't do them. Um, you can't book one with my calendar. However, um, if, if, if a client came through someone else and they told me about them and I thought I could help them, then I would do it. But I don't really take a lot of new clients now. Um, so I don't do them, but as a coach or mentor, most people, especially when you're starting out, should because it's a fantastic way to get people into your funnel, regardless of whether you're, um, they, you get them as a client or you just get them on your list and then eventually they start following you. And some people take two or three years before they actually want to work with you, which is fine. So really, so what's the purpose of it? The purpose isn't to sell them. That's number one. The purpose is not to sell them. The purpose is really to, to determine if you are the right coach for them and they are the right client for you. That's it. And I always start my sessions saying that with somebody because I have the ability to not want them as a client as well. It's just, it's, it's equal amongst both of us because the truth is there are some people that I know will take too much of my time or too much of my effort. Like I just don't want to work with somebody that is too needy. Understand? Now there's other coaches that love those people and say, that's great. I want to work with somebody that needs all the answers. So it's a way for you to decide whether you want to work together. And that's really the, the important thing. And so what you have to remember in that is that there is no outcome. I know you want to book the client, but there is no outcome. So there is no, I must sell them my program. I must sell them, you know, a coaching piece because here, here's what you need to understand. Um, the whole discovery session has to be fluid, right? It has to be open. It's, it's called discovery. It's supposed to be, do I want to work with this person? Do they need me? Do would they be, once I hear their problems, would they be better off with someone else? But once you get on a call and, and you stress and you think it's an audition, right? And you're like, oh my God, I I really, you know, I really need this person, then all of a sudden you have that tightness, right? Does everyone understand that? When you have um you're so worried about an outcome that you're so tight and it no longer becomes fluid and you're not even listening to them because you're so worried about them picking you <laughs> that you're not paying attention to what they really need. So that is um, a big mistake. So you need to go into any of these sessions and just say, we're here for a chat. I'm meeting them at Starbucks. 
That's the kind of feeling you want to get. Let's see if there's a way that I can truly help this person, that I can make them achieve the goal they want, or um, is it just not a good fit? So, um, and, and again, you're not going to say, you know what, <laughs> I don't think this is a good fit. What you're going to say is something like, you know, I understand what you're trying to achieve. I'm not sure I'm the right person for that because I know you want to do X, Y, Z. So here, I'm going to give you some names of people that I really think could make um, the solution that you're looking for. But, you know, sometimes it could be, so you think somebody's looking for mentorship, but they're actually looking for somebody to a uh, done for you solution, right? Some people want you to do everything for them. And some people want the, um, just to understand what they're supposed to do, depending on what kind of coach you are and what you're going to deliver, you'll make that decision, but don't take anyone that, um, you don't think is the right fit just because you need a client because it will turn out badly. Yeah, we'll turn out badly. <laughs> so, um, so that's number one, making sure that it's fluid, it's open, and it's a free, free, it's a free discovery. It's a free exploration. It is not free coaching. Got that? You are not supposed to coach. It's called a discovery session. So you can discover what they need and if you can help them. Um, this is a big one for me <laughs> because I, um, I am naturally my, my, um, I, my natural disposition is to solve your problem. So when I did, uh, I didn't do a lot, but when I did discovery calls, I had a tendency of coaching them for an hour. And then at the end of it, people would say to me, well, I don't really need you because you just told me what I need to do. <laughs> I learned the hard way and yeah. <laughs> Most, I mean, every, we most of us do it at one point because we are very excited because we can see where they should be, right? We know the path they need to take. And so I'm like, oh, you need to do this and this and this and this. And then they go, well, I don't really need you. Okay. <laughs> and that's fine. But here's, you know what? I want to tell you a story and I'm not saying it for, um, you know, for any other reason, just to make you um, understand that whole fluidity piece and, and, you know, giving and taking kind of thing. Whenever I um, watch anybody's, and I've said this in the past, whenever I watch somebody's training or whatever, even if I'm watching their free training and I, and I not planning to buy it, but if I have got, if I took something out of their training that propelled my business, I buy their program anyway, even if I never watch it, because I feel like I owe them. They gave me it for free and I'm not going to sign up with them, but I deserve, I think I would, um, I feel like, you know, they've changed my business just so you guys know, you guys can't sign up with me right now for a coach. So this information I'm giving you, you don't owe me anything. <laughs> okay? So make sure that clear. So number one, we got it fluid. We're not going to coach. We got all this. So the first thing, and here's the really, um, the really smart one you need to do is when you, um, send them a link, right? So you're going to send them a link to your booking calendar for them to schedule in a discovery session. Hopefully, um, you guys use a uh, software that you can do it, a calendar, whatever. Here's why this is and and um, not every software does this. But uh, the one we use at on point mentors, which we developed is um, specific to this. So when a when a client goes, clicks the button to um, add a discovery session, they immediately get a question. First thing they see is a question. And this is an opportunity for you to clarify what they need. It's, it's goal clarity, right? So you're going to ask them something like, um, what do you specifically want my help with the most in our call? And that will clarify their goals. So the whole part of the the whole point of the discovery session is really three parts. One is to goal clarity to understand what they need. Second is problem clarity to understand what their problem is. And then the third is solution clarity. So you want to show them, you know, what you can do and where they can go. That's really key. So before remember, even if you're not on a great software like we have, um, make sure that your calendar does it. If you're using old school and a Google calendar and you're giving them a timeout and all that stuff, then, um, you know, email them a question, the same kind of question. What do you want to work on? But with, with the calendar we use, you would be able to click the button 
ask the question, then you get the link to the uh, the actual call with us, right, with me. And so I get when I get the, the feedback that somebody's booked a call, I also get that question answered. So I already know what you're looking for, right? I already know what you need help with. That's huge because otherwise, if people just book discovery calls, you have no idea what they're doing um, or what they need. Sometimes it's a waste of time for you because it's not in your wheelhouse. And it might be okay if you're a new coach, but if you have existing clients or time is of the essence, you don't want to be worrying about what they're um, what they need. And you certainly don't have time to look up their whole back history. I mean, it's great if you have the option to like look them up and see what they're doing on LinkedIn and websites and stuff. But the truth is I don't have the time and most of us don't have the time to spend on somebody that might not even be a client, right? So that's number one. Don't, don't do too much work if you're not paid yet. <laughs> so you get this pre-call, right? They, they hook, so you know what their problem is. So, you know, Sally might've booked with you and she said, you know, I'm a health practitioner and I don't really know, I don't have a professional brand and therefore I'm having trouble getting clients. That's what she might've wrote, right? So the call comes, so here's the deal. Don't ever call the client. You make them, make sure if you're using a video conferencing, which is what I prefer, or if they have a telephone, they call you. You don't call them. You must train them right in the beginning. They call you, okay? Because um, it's your time they are on the clock. You're not going to wait for them. If you are, um, if you have done a video call, you can follow up with an email if they missed it. But remember, um, that's it's you've given them the opportunity for this discovery call, so you are not calling them. They're calling you. So you both jump on the link if it's a video call, and the first thing you do is welcome. You know, welcome. I'm happy to to meet you. And then you say you want to click. You want to basically confirm their the, the whole piece on their goal, right? You want to confirm it to make sure you know you're going in the right direction because you don't want to go off topic, right? Because you, you've got 15 minutes basically you're you're allowing to this call. So you're going to basically say, you know, Sally, I work with, I talk to other healthcare practitioners all the time and they really want to know how to present themselves in order to gain a customer base that they really want. Is that what you're asking? Is that what you're looking for? So what have you done by saying that? Number one is you clarified the answer they already gave you. So you're confirming that that's what they want is their goal. And what else did I say? I said, other health practitioners I work with are looking for this. So now I've already established credibility, right? I've already said, I've already worked with people like you and I haven't had to say that, right? So you're, you're immediately, so now we're good. So we have, we understand their goal, we understand the clarity. And now when they say, yes, that's what I'm looking for, you wanna basically um, explain the, the discovery, right? So you're basically gonna say, now that we're clear on what you want to accomplish, oh, you're smiling, okay. What Now you're clear on what you want to accomplish. Um, I need to start a little bit, learn a little bit more about you and where you currently are and how I can help. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions and then at the end, if you think it's a good fit that we think we should work together, then I'll have some options for you. Does that sound good? And they'll say yes. And that's it. So I've confirmed what we're going to do, right? I've confirmed I'm going to ask them a few questions and then they know I'm going to give them an option or two. Right? Got that? So do you have a question? Faye, do you think a 30 minute call is too long? So here's my thing, depending on what your pricing is. So if you are $500 and below 15 minutes, if you're $500 and above, 30 to 40 minutes. Because you can't, if you're charging a lot of money, you can't get it in 15 minutes, right? But um, so Teresa, the biggest mistake, again, learn from me. <laughs> the biggest mistake is spending too much time. Because remember, we pre-qualified her goal initially because we want to make sure we only address that we stay on one track. And that was the number one thing she wanted help with. Because the truth is most clients have a million things they want help with, right? One thing, one thing, that's it. So, so we've said basically, you know, um, does that sound good? We can move forward. Now we want to ask you some questions, right? Remember you have 15 minutes, so this is quick, right? So there's really three questions, three qualifying kind of questions you're going to ask. One is, sorry, one is qualifying questions. 
The other is what's not working for you. And the other is what is it costing you? So what you're trying to do is you're trying to kind of um, agitate the problem. Does that make sense? You're trying to understand what the real struggle is and, and explain to them, you know, what it's costing them by not solving the problem by now. So, so qualify. So qualify question would be something like, um, what's your biggest struggle in trying to get a professional brand up and running? Like, what is it? What's the biggest struggle? What's the thing that keeps you up at night about that? And they'll usually say something like, well, I don't really feel like I'm professional. I don't know where to start. You know, my, my um, social media handles are silly and this and that, right? They'll give you some answers. And then the mm -hmm. next question. <laughs> I hate silly social media handles. Drives me crazy. <laughs> the next table. question, so qualify question, right? The next question is, what's not working for you right now in that? So how do you qualify that? You basically say, what have you already tried? Um, to look more professional in branding and um, it's not working. Like how much time um, are you wasting trying different things to actually solve the problem? And they might say, well, I got this LinkedIn expert to do my profile, but obviously I didn't spend enough because it's terrible. I didn't go to Stacy. <laughs> well, that's the they'll, they will, they'll tell you, they might've said, you know, I, I bought, courses on Instagram, I bought courses on branding, you know, how to brand yourself and nothing's working, right? Nothing's working. So you want to know what's not working. What's the pain that they felt about them trying and they're not working. And then the, the third one we talked about, which is what's it costing you, right? What's it costing you in time? So not only lost time, lost money, lost joy, lost excitement, lost security, lost confidence, right? How many of us and I know you guys know a lot of people that um, have great, you know, services or consultants or whatever, and they lose confidence because they don't feel like their image out there is is valid, right? They don't. They, and the, and at the the longer they go, the smaller they feel. And then once you put your brand or whatever out there, remember I'm talking about Sally, who's a practitioner. When you put your brand out there, all of a sudden you feel like you you fit the role and you can go ahead and grab clients, right? So you want to know how much what what have they lost right how much time have they spent how much money have they spent you know are they exhausted are they tired of their business they think it's not going to work and um and that's what you you want to really them to understand so so you can say something like um if somebody gave you a game plan to be able to solve that right now so if if today we were saying okay don't worry about it by in 90 days that's all going to be solved and you're going to look professional and great online and you'll understand how much money do you think you could make by not focusing on that yourself so how much money could you make in the next 90 days by focusing only on your clients right because now we're like we're making them understand that you know they what they're they're spending their time money and effort on something they're just not good at and that's the truth. And that's why people have coaches because they don't want to waste their money, their time and their money on something they're never going to achieve. Right. So that's it's crucial that you get to that point. So remember, it was goal clarity, which we started with, and then it was problem clarity. So we've got that problem. And now you're moving to solution clarity. Right. You're it's the the ah oh, moment. <laughs> it's the it's, you know, sunshine and rainbows and sunflowers and and it's, and it's unicorns and <laughs> <laughs> that's right so it's really you're now going to show them that better life so i alluded to it right in the last part because i said you know how much money could you make if you focused right so the better life piece is usually about storytelling so what you can it's twofold you can do it two ways one is you paint a story of what you see they could be in 90 days, 60 days, whatever you think your program is that will help them. And remember, some of you are going to ask me, um, well, what's better? Should I sign them up for a six month or should I sign them up for a 12 month? And it's very like, you know, I don't believe in that because if you would actually listen to the client, you would customize it on the spot on what they needed. Remember at the beginning, I said, I was giving you some options, options with an S. <laughs> so 
Um, some people might only need a deep dive. They might need five hours of your time in one day. And then some people might need six months. So it's not um, appropriate for you to say this is your solution until you hear the problems. Um, so again, paint the story by number one, telling them what you think they could achieve and where they should be. Not the, not they're it, just like in, in three months or 90 days from now, you know, your LinkedIn profile will look like this. Your website will be up and running. People will be calling you because they can see your professional tag. They'll understand what you do immediately. So all of a sudden that, so they can start feeling it. They can feel that. And then I'm going to tell another story about how you've done this and accomplished this for someone just like them. And if you don't have clients yet, you just have to tell a story about somebody else who's accomplished this by focusing on what you do. So what do I mean by that? If you have a, if you've never worked with health practitioners, but you know of a health practitioner that has gone from struggling with no clients because they didn't have a brand to a brand, you tell their story. Well, Jennifer started in the same place as you. And this is what she did. She worked on her profile. She worked on a tagline. She worked on getting into the right networking groups. And then at the end of it, she was doing well, making, you know, X amount of money. So you want to be able to story tell their story and someone else's story, right? Testimonial usually. And then it's really, really simple at the end. All you have to say, I know it's, it's, it's a tough one. You guys ready? You got your pencil, pens and papers ready? Wait. Okay, okay. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> so I think based on everything we've talked about, the best plan for you is to just do a deep dive with me. Five hours, perfect plan. Does that sound like the right plan for you? Is it? Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> you've already done all the work. And that's 15 minutes, guys. It's 15 minutes right? But what did I not do? I didn't coach. I listened. I listened to what they wanted. I listened to their problem. I gave them the solution. I told them what I did with somebody else. And then I gave them something to buy. <laughs> I said, this is the best plan for you. And if somebody says, well, you know, that's, I don't know if I can do five hours in a row. Great. No problem. Do you want to just do it over a month? Because right. I can do that to make it work with your schedule. But that's the key. The key is understanding that you have to listen to hear what they want to hear unless you're selling, if you're selling a 12 month program and you firmly believe that that's what everyone has to go through, that's fine. But make sure you listen to hear when they want their stuff done by, right? Because if they're struggling and they want, you know, they want to be up and running in 90 days, then don't tell them about your 12 month plan. I wouldn't sign up for 12 months. Because <laughs> they don't want to hear it. Now, there's other people like I ran it. I ran a 12 month mastermind, but that's because I understood that they're most of the people that are working with me were starting from scratch. They didn't even have a business idea. So it takes that long to get there. But there's other people that I do deep dives with all the time and deep dives are my favorite. So wow. if I was going to say to anyone, you know, some people call them VIP sessions, whatever you want to call them. I call them deep dives. But basically, um, what I do with some people over six months, I do in one day in like five or six hours. And we just, you know, hole up in a room and there's post-it, those big post-it, you know, those things, big pages yeah, that you put on the wall, right. all over the walls with all their strategies, everything. They have homework. They know what to do. It makes sense. Right. Does everyone get that? Is everyone clear on what we're doing? Does everyone think they can do that? Or are they doing discovery sessions and they're not working because they're not following kind of the same kind of plan? So what's the um, advantage to, because I've always heard this, this will be my question mm -hmm. on this one, and maybe this is where I fall short. I definitely give too much time. I know that. <clears throat> yeah. But um, the one thing that I've always heard is give them one thing. Give them right. sort of that one. So somebody's calling me and I do <clears throat> a session, just a really quick one to see if it's a good fit, say on LinkedIn. I always give them one thing on their profile that could update. Right. Immediately they can go and take action. So they see the value so what's the advantage of giving them sort of that one thing? So pseudo coaching, pseudo information. Well, you are because that's your big picture. 
right? So, so what you're doing in that picture, so remember I said your LinkedIn profile, your tagline, like it might be for me, like I'm usually really good at taglines, right? So I always throw those out. So if I, if I meet somebody and I'll go, you should be this and I call them something, right? And so, but that's part of painting the picture, telling the story, right? So you are giving them value, right? But you're not, uh, it's not a silo value, right? Right. So be very careful. Cause as I said, um, I learned the hard way. I did so many and I did them long. I used to give an hour and that's an hour of coaching. <clears throat> so it's true. <clears throat> and because I'm a strategist, so my brain works very linear and I see everything. Um, I'd give a lot in an hour. And that was a big mistake for me because as I said, people then just would say, oh, I don't need you because you already told me all the answers. So, um, you know, shame on me, my mistake. But right. so for everyone listening, I think the key is understanding um, the differentiations about where to go. So I'm, I'm pretty good on track so far on time. So homework. I was just gonna say, if you can wrap up and maybe we'll just leave a few more minutes uh, for okay. specific questions that people have. Okay. So. Um, so here's the homework, guys. A couple things. Number one is write out your you homework. Time. So, you did, <laughs> so you have the three three sections, right? You have your goal clarity, your problem clarity, and your solution clarity, right? That's the three things. So I want you to make sure you're clear on what we talked about in those three sections, right? So the first was making sure you repeated what they wanted on their one question. So come up with your one question. If you don't have a cool uh platform like on point then you make sure whatever you're using figure out how to do it number two is figure out some qualifying questions which is basically the problem which is qualifying them what's not working and what's it's what it's costing them okay so understand and make sure you have that in and then number the following part which is the uh, solution clarity is simple figure out for you some testimonial case studies or storytelling that you can use and you have five of those in your back pocket. You should always have those, even if they're not yours, somebody else's that have been through the kind of problems that your clients have been through. So those are the, the buckets that you need to look at. OK, um, and it's key. And um, if and then and here's the thing, uh, practice with somebody if you've never done this before to get the timing down. So again, under you can change the number, whatever you're comfortable with. But for me, under $500, 15 minutes. Because why are you giving out so much time? Because you know discovery sessions, you're not going to close everybody. So you need to close the people that are, that are truly needing the help. Because the people that will sign up, generally speaking, will sign up in the 15 minutes. The well, it's also that, really interesting to be able to tell the difference between people who respect your time versus yeah. people that don't. Right. So I'll get on a 15 minute call and that's what I have set up Yeah. Uh, for people. And I will literally have them like, okay, well, we're coming to the end of our 15 minutes. They've said that to me. So they're already watching the clock because yeah. they know they booked a 15 minutes, which is, which yeah. is what I like. And they're like, well, we're coming to the end. So, you know, we don't have enough time um, to finish you going through all your services. So could you send me a proposal? Right. Because they respect the time. So I said, okay, well, let's just stay on for another couple of minutes so I can explain to you. Then I will send it to you in writing. Exactly. So you, you um, have which is really good. But then you have the opposite. It, and do you really, then, then my question is, if they're not respecting your time on this call, are they going to be respecting your time on future calls? Right. And the people generally that keep asking questions over the time frame are not the ones that are going to sign up with you anyway. Right. They're looking for free advice. Yeah, I I face that unfortunately. That's yeah. that's my thing. I hope people can learn from because that's been my downfall. Yeah. They ask questions and I answer them. And then like you said, 30 minutes rolls into 45 minutes and you're still having a conversation. Exactly. Wait a minute, that's part of the coaching call. Catherine has a question. As I'm starting out, I believe I should offer a couple of calls for free and use them as testimonials. Absolutely, Catherine. Um, it's it's you know um, I used to own a yoga studio and we had yoga teachers that we trained and we called them practicums, and they needed to do um, I think it was ten practicums, ten free teaching to make sure they were good. So and then that's how they gained ratings on um, on the software that we had. So absolutely, it's a way for you to practice the discovery call and your coaching call. And then you can absolutely get testimonials, but limit it. So tell yourself you're gonna do five, 
or you're going to do three or whatever the number is. And then that's it. But tell them in advance. Just go, look, I'll be happy to. I just the only thing I require in, in you know, in return is because, you know, if there's not an exchange of value, it's not worth it to either one of you. So what I require in return is a great testimonial from you or just a testimonial from you. Hopefully. No, a great testimony. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's really key. So you guys got your homework. I'll, I'll see if there's another question, but I want to make sure I stay on track to get you this. So I told you I was going to give you a check sheet of everything that we just talked about, right? So you could keep on track. But I talked to Stacy this morning. <laughs> And, and you know, I'm always, I'm, my brain is always. It always has great ideas. It always kind of says, "I have this idea," and I'm like, eh. sometimes I go, "Yay!" And then today, because I'm, it's, I'm having a Monday, I'm like, <laughs> "Okay." <laughs> so what I want you to, um, so I want you to hang in there because on, I think on Wednesday, I have a class that it's, um, it's on Discovery Calls, and it's like a master class, and it's ninety seven dollars, and it's just, it, it not only gives you this, but it gives you a little bit more in depth on scripts and stuff. So um, for those of you who are watching this, <laughs> we're going to write down your your um, your names. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to give you guys a link so you can watch the masterclass in full for free. OK, awesome. okay. no upgrade, no nothing. Just uh, you get to watch it because you showed up on Monday morning. And just like Stacy, even though she did not want to show up on Monday. <laughs> I, I was this close, it. literally this close to going, how do you feel about running this with me only behind the scenes and not on camera? <laughs> <laughs> I was this close. So anyway, so any more questions? Are you guys good? Um, I really, um, this will change your business. This will get you more clients because you're focused. You're focused and you're not focused on trying to land somebody. You're focused on how can I truly figure out if this works for us, right? For us as um, client and as coach, and am I the right fit? And here's the solution that I have for you. Because sometimes you might get somebody that you don't have a solution for. <laughs> so be honest with it, you know? I, I'm not gonna help everybody do everything, right? I can't do it. There's things that I just, or I just don't wanna do, right? Anyway, that's it. And I'm so coming back tomorrow tomorrow so just to remind you guys tomorrow is tech tuesday should we have a theme song we need a, we theme, need song. a tech tuesday theme song we'll find one okay well yes your job because you're the tech girl so tech tuesday so a couple things i'm really excited about what i have tomorrow i don't okay, know if you guys have any suggestions please like these wonderful people any suggestions for a theme song for Tech Tuesday? Yeah, Tech Tuesday, we need a song. We need a theme song. I'm <laughs> ready. That's what we're going to hang on to. So every Tuesday, we're going to give you something that you can get, which is either free or cheap. Yeah, <laughs> all, maybe not cheap all the time. But try cheap because we like cheap. Um, and we like to support startups. So I have something I'm so excited about that I don't even want, I can't stand it. Stacy doesn't even know. But um, it's something that I paid a ton of money for. <laughs> you guys don't have to. <laughs> so, um, so well, you know, I'm not going to be able to wait till tomorrow, right? That's 24 <laughs> hours from now. I'm not going to be able to sleep. I'm not telling anybody. That's the, okay. that, see, it's called, you know, getting you back in the Patience? group. Patience. Getting you back to the group making sure you show up and uh yeah getting into the matrix i love it the matrix is one of my favorite movies by the way Teresa. so you guys be nice about me cool. and keanu reeves is truly my boyfriend he's not the internet's boyfriend he's my boyfriend i love him and I you can love him, love him. <laughs> but Teresa needs to understand the matrix so we'll have that conversation tomorrow <laughs> so, Teresa, you're gonna have to wait too and it's just because if i have to wait everybody else has to wait <laughs> That's the fun of it. Okay, guys, thanks for showing up. You'll get the masterclass on Wednesday, but don't miss tomorrow because it's going to be very cool and you're going to want it. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye.